while. It has been a long time since I have done a tutorial. <laughs> I just felt like, you know what, I hit 60,000 subscribers. I've kicked it off. Here we go. I'm back. So um, we're back again, kicking it with some uh, awesome tutorials. I've actually been brainstorming some stuff, and some people have been kind of giving me some ideas. And also, I have just, you know, you know, kind of come up with some really cool things that I've been utilizing in my designs that I thought, hey, let's share it with you guys. So, one of the biggest things a lot of people wanted to know is, I will open up the file for you, it is the slice effect that I did on my current YouTube banner. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Here it is. I will zoom in real quick. Now, as you guys can see, it kind of looks like it's slicing, and it also has a gradient inside of it that kind of gives it, you know, a little bit more of like, you know, cool touch to it. A uh, simple, subtle, blurred stage background that I have in there, just because uh, I didn't want anything too crazy. And honestly, I don't really love designing YouTube banners for my channel, just because, I don't know, maybe it's just, I don't like being crazy creative with it. <laughs> um, I have had some really cool ones, but, you know, I like simple stuff sometimes. Um... But yeah, I'm going to show you guys basically how to do this. It's pretty simple, but, you know, to get the right effect, um, definitely takes a little bit of having that good design eye. Um, now, you can do this with a filled text or a um, outline text. I like using outline text just because it gives the effect a little bit more of that, um, you know, that, uh, I guess, you know, it gives it just a little bit more creative coolness to that. I don't know, that's such a bad lingo for it, but that's really only, it just, you know, gives it more of the effect. But right now what I'm doing, as you guys can tell, is I'm just kind of pen tooling an outline of the red logo. Uh, I'm going to make a selection and invert it. Just This is just for if you don't have uh, it divided into like a million different, um, uh, where go, oh, yeah. And we're just going to fill this. We'll do now. Yeah, we'll do we'll do an orange just because it's kind of fun. Okay. So we have a nice saturated orange, real saturated orange, almost a perfect hue. But um, yeah, so I have this nice orange, and of course the phase red. And you know, um, we're gonna basically start off with just the logo itself. Now, if you have it different layers of the logo you're using or the text you're using or whatever. Um, you can rasterize it or do whatever you want to it to give it the full effect that you can move everything or, you know, it's completely up to you. But your pen tool is going to be your best friend here. Um, I'm going to have it sliding, you know, a certain way. So I'm going to probably have it going, I'm going to select this side. And you're just going to make a selection, grab your moving tool. And you can use your arrow tools to kind of move it to where it, it kind of looks offset. I mean, sometimes you're going to have to play with it to really get a cool effect to it. Um, yeah, that's not bad. And you're going to do the exact same thing to the opposite side. Try to keep it the same angle. Uh, it kind of gives it, that's the whole point of the slice. Uh, same kind of difference, except this one we're going to go, well, we'll go up for this one. Yeah, you're just going to arrow keys, definitely are going to be a big, big play into this. And, you know, of course, you guys can see that it gives it this cool effect that, you know, something slit, like sliced it in half or, you know, gives it that really cool, I guess, you know, slicey effect. And this is where the actual slice happens. Now, you know, you can leave it like this and design like that, you know, go for it. Um, but uh, to really emphasize the actual slice itself, what I do is I like to add actual slice marks. Now, the way you can uh, tell which way it's slicing is if it's falling, it's usually going to have a slice going that way. So on this, the inside, um, you're going to want to have, the, you know, a uh, slice mark like that. If it's falling like that, uh, just you know. It really doesn't matter because uh, you can really play with the illusion of it. But I personally like to make sure that everything I do is, you know, it may, has a it makes sense. Uh, it doesn't you know just look weird or look cool. You know, it, it has to have a uh, 
you know, it has to make some sort of sense. So this is really all you're going to do, and I don't know how this is, how long this is going to take me, just because there's a lot of, um, what's it called, points that I have to do. And it's just the same angle. I mean, even if you really got lazy, I mean, you can just make one of them and then just keep copying and pasting them. But I like to do different slices for each one just because it gives it that actual human error, like somebody actually sliced it. Uh, you know, you don't, when you slice something, it's not like you're going to get the same slice every single time, you know. Um, you might get it a few times, but it's not going to be perfect every time. So, you know, it's just kind of making, whoop, that type of effect. And the opposite on this side. Same, same thing. Very uh, self-explanatory, very boring sometimes, but... You know what? It makes for a really cool product, and it makes for a really cool effect on the logos, especially for clients. If you're, um, if they're like, "Hey, I kind of want something new," this is a uh, something that really freshens it up. Even if it's like a, some, a style that a lot of people um, have seen a million times, it's still, you know, you can life, you know, definitely screw with this a lot and liven the whole thing up. Definitely have used it. Uh, a lot with client work and stuff like that. All right, we have that. And then this side, it's going to be the opposite. So this is sliding this way, and this is going that way. So this, we're going to have this going outside. And of course, I'm going to do the white first just because I don't want to, you know, we do have an orange in this one. Uh, it's another issue that a lot of people will run into because, you know, if you are using multicolored logos, text, whatever it is, um, you will run into color differences and stuff like that. Um, pretty simple stuff. Uh, there is a layer style to this that I do like to use an awful lot, and I will show you that in a second. So I'm going to just select this orange again. It is a pure hue. <laughs> and, um, oh, I always do that. I always think that selecting the swatch is going to be the color, but it's not. Uh, I've done that so many times when I'm in my hurries and stuff, like in a hurry and stuff, and then it just, ugh. But yeah, the last two. A little bit of a process to get such a simple effect but it's very cool and I'm sure if you have other ways to do it guys you know share in the comments because you know help other people out you know definitely the whole point of this is you know if you know a faster way to do it by all means make a tutorial on it kind of refer it to me I wish there was video responses but <laughs> there is not anymore uh, but yeah so that's basically the effect um, as you can see it kind of looks like a slice um, really accents it a lot more um, and the last thing that what I do is I add a gradient overlay to it, and mine automatically goes to that. But you're going to want to use a black to white. And I usually slide it to where it's slicing from, kind of give it that angle like that. And I just switch to overlay. Um, now, you you can screw with, oh, whoops, sorry, uh, the reverse of it, or, you know, just whatever looks better to you. Um, if you want it to kind of go from dark to light. Uh, that actually does look really cool that way. Actually, I like it like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then um, I, I usually, a lot of people, really, you know, they like to add the little inner shadow, you know, glitch to it. Um, that's really cool. I, I've been messing with a lot of uh, inner glow overlays, just because it you know, gets a really sharp edge. Um, that's really cool. Um, inner shadow, I usually do something to the effect of this if you can follow it or whatever it's basically for people that don't know it's um, an overlay of white uh, 100 angle one distance zero choke zero size and then it kind of gives it this nice like gloss top to it and I kind of switched the opacity on it or another really cool idea is I usually use a bevel and emboss um, untick the global lighting keep it at 30 uh, I can usually come up to around four for the size, depending upon the size of it. 
pull it down to about 15 for the opacity of the highlight and the shadow. And it just kind of makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, just defined. And it looks really cool that way. Of course, I add outer glows to a lot of things, give it the out, you know, kind of give it more of a glow. It really kind of just de depends on what you want to do. Um, depends on what you're also going for. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, uh, the logo or the, um, the slice effect, you know, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a, it's a very simple tutorial, but I think a lot of people will definitely use it. Um, I, I don't really know if, you know, I would go out and just be like, oh, you know, constantly use it on everything because, you know, sometimes you want to use it as a contrast. Sometimes you want to use it as more of a, a uh, last minute touch. It's almost like a, um, a contour, you know, you don't want to do it right away because then you can't revert it. You got to, you know, restart. So I would definitely just more or less use it as a, uh, a, a final touch thing, or if you just want to base the whole thing around it, then perfect. But it's really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Of course, check out all my stuff in self. I'm going to be updating that. I hope you guys enjoyed the 60k pack. You know, if you guys can leave some comments on what you thought about it, let me know. Um, of course, been rated, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Deuces.